Hey everybody, it's Peter from Flixel, and we're here in beautiful downtown Toronto, right next to Old City Hall and New City Hall, talking to the people about, yup, you guessed it, Cinemagraphs. I have one question for you. Have you ever heard of a Cinemagraph? No, I haven't. No, Never. I have actually. Have. Yes. No, 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 no. But you tell me about it. I have something to show you guys, and I would love to get your first reaction. It's cool. It kind of reminds me of Harry Potter, like the photos on the walls in Harry Potter. Oh, that's so cool. How do you do that? So that's a still picture, but part of the image is moving. That's really amazing. Very, very alive. It's like uh, the perfect melding of a GIF with a bit of action. I dig it. Ooh, I can't stop thinking about cinemagraphs. How would you describe cinemagraphs to someone who's never seen them before? Um, it's kind of like a, it's a photo that's moving essentially. It's kind of trippy a bit. Like I, you're not really sure what is a photo and what's video. I suppose moving picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like a static picture but with a moving part in the background. Something is uh, moving or something is going on, but it's still it is an image. It's yeah. not a video. Imagine your favorite pictures or kind of things brought to life, but uh, you get to keep the kind of perfect moment preserved forever. All right, we're still out here trying to find uh, people we can talk to about cinemagraphs, and I think we have a guest, our little feathery friend down here. Excuse me, sir. Have you ever heard of a cinemagraph? A shy little guy, isn't he? Where do you see people using cinemagraphs? Like, what, what, what's the best application of them? Advertising boards, you know, the... Um uh, the ones you get sort of by bus shelters and things like that. I think for businesses, a cinemagraph is great because it kind of brings you into, rather than just seeing static advertisement, it kind of brings you into the photograph and um, it feels more interactive in some way. I certainly think there's application for tourists and, you know, in, in nature where you've got things moving and, you know, waterfalls, animals, all that kind of thing. For using it personally, I guess it's sort of the same. Just spice up your Insta feed. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello again. It was fantastic talking to all you beautiful people of Toronto. If you like what you saw, please visit our website, check out our blog, heck, subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the links should be in the description or superimposed on the video right in front of you. Thank you so much and have a good day.